Okay, everyone, here is a super quick tip for going into your split leaps to make them more leapier. Okay, check it out. So as you go into your leap, you wanna be very light on your toes, like this. See, light, light, light. So you can practice running back and forth on the beam like that. Pretend like you're a reindeer or something that just kinda trots along. I can't really think of anything right now. So, just like this, on the balls of your feet, push through. See, watch how I'm not on flat feet. You see that? It's almost like I'm doing mini leaps, sort of. Just nice, big, flowing steps. Shoulders down, chin up. Because then when you go into your leap, it'll look like this. You see how I was nice and light? On my toes, that's what you want. The thing you don't want is running on flat feet like this. I see a lot of girls go into their leap. Watch, they go. I mean, come on. It just doesn't look great. It doesn't sound great. Oh my gosh, you're like a someone with like lots of gold or bricks in your shoes, even though we don't wear shoes. I totally forgot to mention to keep your chest up, everyone, when you're doing your, your steps into your leap, because if you do the runs with your chest down, it's just gonna ruin everything. So keep that chest up there, already. Good luck on those split leaps for my end of the workout trick. I might as well punch and do a nice front pike off the beam. Hey, why not? you have it. Never do bean with your hair down. Let that be something that I do. I was in a hurry and I didn't have time to put it up. Okay everyone, good luck with those split leaps and you can check out my other workouts and lessons. Go get them everyone. See you later alligators.